In this video, we're going to talk about uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So basically, uh, degrees can be divided into even smaller units uh, called minutes and seconds. So degrees can be divided into minutes, and minutes can be divided into seconds. Um, and this kind of thing is useful for uh, latitude and longitude locations on Earth and other planets, things like that. Um, so that, and it has some other applications too, but it's pretty useful there. So um, we'll talk about you know, what a minute and a second is, how they relate to degrees, and we'll do some examples of converting um, some things in this video. So, uh, first of all, one degree, so one degree equals uh, 60 minutes. Okay, so remember the notation for degree, so uh, one degree equals uh, 60 minutes. Okay, so this is kind of like the shorthand notation for feet. Um, so one degree equals 60 minutes, so it's just an apostrophe here. It's basically just an apostrophe. One degree, 60 minutes. Um, and one minute one minute is 60 seconds. Okay, so that's fairly easy to remember, right? So uh, one minute so a minute is a single apostrophe, and seconds are two apostrophes. Okay, so one minute is 60 seconds. Okay, so uh, degrees, so if you have a number in degree, minute, second format, uh, DMS, so it's called a DMS uh, format. So if you have a, a number in degrees, you could express it as a degree decimal or a DMS format number like this. So we'll talk about converting back and forth between decimals which means just like plain degree numbers, or uh, so back and forth from that to this uh, format here. So let's go ahead and just do some examples here. <clears throat> so uh, example one, uh, convert two degrees, 27 minutes, 47 seconds to a uh, decimal. Okay, so what that means is just um, get rid of the minutes and seconds and convert it just to uh, something entirely in degrees. So basically, um, this is how we do this sort of thing here, uh, is we start, so uh, two degrees, okay, so we know we're gonna have the two degrees, and then we add to that, um, we have to take the 27 minutes and convert that into degrees. So, <clears throat> 27 minutes, how do we convert that to degrees? Well, one degree is 60 minutes, so we use that conversion factor here. One degree is 60 minutes. So we take 27 minutes, multiply by one over 60. Okay, because one degree is 60 minutes. Okay, so we multiply by one over 60 so that the minutes will cancel, and then we'll be good, we'll just have something in degrees. So, Basically, to convert minutes to degrees, that's what we want to do here. Convert minutes to degrees and convert seconds to degrees. Okay, so convert minutes to degrees. You multiply by one over sixty. Okay. Now, what about um, the seconds here? So forty-seven seconds. Okay, so we want to know how many degrees. So uh, we here we multiply by one over sixty because there's one degree uh, in sixty minutes, right? Well. Um, we say one degree here, how many seconds are there? Well, if one minute is 60 seconds, okay, and one degree is 60 minutes, okay, so uh, one degree equals 60 minutes. Okay. So one minute is 60 seconds, what if we have 60 minutes? Okay. One minute is 60 seconds, multiply the left side by 60, so you get 60 minutes, multiply the right side by 60, that's going to be 3600 seconds. Okay. So one degree equals 60 minutes, and 60 minutes is 3600 seconds. So in other words, uh, one degree equals 3600 seconds. Okay, so that's, that's where we got the, uh, so that's how to get this conversion factor here. So um, one degree is 60 minutes, one minute is 60 seconds, therefore 60 minutes is 3,600 seconds, therefore one degree equals 60 minutes equals 3,600 seconds. Okay, so one degree is 3,600 seconds. So that's our conversion factor here. 
Okay, now um, why am I adding these all together like this? Well, uh, because we want to convert this entire number to a decimal here, so just to a degree decimal. So basically what we're doing is we're getting rid of the minutes and seconds. Basically, we're just converting the minutes to degrees and the seconds to degrees. Okay? Now you could do it all separately, so two degrees is just two degrees. You could multiply this out and then add it later, multiply this out um, and then add it later. But you want to be very careful about rounding and things like that. So let's say uh, we want to round round to uh, three decimals, <clears throat> three decimal places. Or in other words, the nearest uh, thousandth. Okay, so round to three decimal places. So uh, you gotta be very, very careful with rounding. Um, you don't wanna round that far until the end. So uh, until then though, so if you're gonna break this up into steps or into pieces, so if you just do this part by itself, 27 times one over 60, um, you're going to get some fraction maybe, and you don't want to round it out to three decimals there. Only round to three in the end. But along the way, just keep it rounded out to maybe six or seven or as much as you can really. Um, that's reasonable. But way more than three for sure. So um, you want to be careful of that. But if you do it all at once, so if you just toss this whole thing into your calculator, um, then you'll be good. You won't have to worry about rounding because you'll just do it all in one step. So let's drop all the notation here. So that's going to be two plus 27 over 60, okay, plus uh, 47 <clears throat> over 3,600. Okay. So if we, you know, this looks kind of messy, but if we just drop all the notation, um, then all we're doing is 2 plus 27 over 60 plus 47 over 3,600. And again, um, why divided by 60? Because that's our conversion factor. 27 minutes times 1 degree per 60 minutes. Okay, 47 seconds times one degree per 3,600 seconds. And remember, we explained that earlier up here. Um, okay, so now, if we toss all of this into the calculator at once, we don't have to worry about rounding issues. And then if we do that, if we toss that into the calculator, uh, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get about, uh, it's approximately equal to 2.463 degrees. Okay. So that's our answer for example one. Okay, so convert this uh, DMS number to a decimal uh, and round to three decimal places. Okay. So that's uh, example one here. So example two is going to be pretty much the same. So we'll see this again, but with a different number. So let's say convert uh, 63 degrees, 58 minutes, and 12 seconds to a decimal. Uh, and round to three decimal places. So we'll do this just like before and we're gonna add it all together um, just so we don't have to worry about rounding issues. We'll just do it all in one step. So it's gonna be 63 degrees plus 58 minutes times uh, one degree over 60 minutes okay, plus 12 seconds <clears throat> times one degree per 3,600 seconds. Okay, so remember, it's the, just the exact same conversion formulas as before. So the conversion factors don't depend on this number, right? The conversion factors come from the fact that one degree is 60 minutes and one degree is 3,600 seconds. And this comes from the fact that one degree is 60 minutes and one minute is 60 seconds. Okay, so we explained that earlier. Um, and again, this looks kind of messy, but if we drop all the notation, then it's just 63 plus 58 over 60 plus uh, 12 over 3,600. Okay. So again, what are we doing? We're just taking this DMS number and converting it to a decimal, which means degrees. So we're just converting minutes to degrees and converting seconds to degrees and adding them all together um, so that we can actually get this in a DMS format. Okay. So if we toss all this into a calculator, um, we're gonna get about 63.978 degrees. And does that kind of make sense? Yeah, it kind of makes sense, right? Because 58 minutes is almost another degree, right? So we might expect that this number is going to be very close to 64 degrees, and it is, 63.978 degrees. That's pretty close to 64 degrees, which we expect because 58 minutes is pretty close to 60 minutes, which is exactly one degree, right? So if you think about stuff like that, it's easier to check yourself, um, check your answer and things like that. So, okay. Oh, and this, by the way, was example uh, two. Okay, that was example two. 
So now um, we'll do examples three and four, which go the other way. So we just did two examples converting DMS, converting DMS format into decimal. So now we'll do two examples going the other way. So this will be example three. Okay, so let's say uh, convert five point one two eight degrees to DMS format. And a round two the near second. Okay, so we're gonna basically find out what D is, what M is, and what S is, and we're just gonna round to the nearest second, which means no no decimals anymore, just uh, all three whole numbers here, integers. Okay, so this is how we do it this way. So we take a five point one two eight degrees. So the first step is always split it up like this. That's 5 degrees plus 0 0.128 degrees. Okay. So this right here, uh, this is the D. Okay. This is the D in DMS. Okay. That's our D. OK, so um, well, that was easy. Now we have to take 0.128 degrees and convert that uh, into minutes and seconds. So how do we do that? So what we do is we take, um, basically we use the same conversion factor, but just use it going the other way. So when we converted from DMS to decimal, we multiply by 1 over 60. Now we're just going to go the other way. So what we do is we take uh, 0 0.128 degrees, and we multiply by 60 minutes per 1 degree. Okay. So what we get uh, is 7.68 minutes. Okay. So what we just did was we converted 0 0.128 degrees into minutes. Okay, so that's um, pretty much the process here. So step one, split, uh, take off the whole number part. So 5.128 degrees is 5 plus 0.128. Here's our D. Now we take 0.128 degrees, convert that into minutes. We get 7.68 minutes. Now we kind of do the same thing again, but instead of from degrees to minutes, we go from minutes to seconds. So now what we do is we say, okay, uh, 7.68 minutes equals 7 minutes plus 0 0.68 minutes and this right here is our M. Okay, so just like before, we started with this degrees, we split it up into 5 plus that. This was our D. Now here, we turned this fractional piece into 7.68 minutes, or we converted it to that, and then we just do the same thing again. Seven 0.68 minutes is 7 minutes plus 0.68 minutes. So uh, this, this here's our M. Now this fractional part, we're going to convert that into seconds and then round it to the nearest second. So now 0 0.68 minutes. Um, we want to convert this into seconds. We just multiply by uh, 60 seconds per one minute. Okay, so don't use 3600, right? So before we used 3600 because we went from degrees uh, or excuse me, we went from seconds to degrees, but here we're just going from minutes to seconds. So we just uh, multiply by 60. So uh, this is going to be 0.68 times 60 is going to give us uh, 40.8 seconds. Okay. So now um, we just round this up. So we round that up to uh, 41 seconds. And then that's going to be our uh, S. In case remember, we were told to round to the nearest second. So round to the nearest second. And 40.8 uh, rounds up to 41. So uh, the DMS format, so here's our D, here's our M, and here's our S. So the final answer is going to be uh, 5 degrees, 7 minutes, and 41 seconds. OK? So that's example 3 with converting. So let's do uh, example 4, which is one more like this. So we'll do one more example like this, and that'll be it for this video. So let's say we want to uh, convert 
31.624 degrees. And we'll get rid of all this. So it's going to be done exactly the same way that we just did example three, um, exactly the same way. So convert 31.624 degrees to DMS format, round to the nearest second. So start off exactly the same way. 31.624 degrees equals uh, 31 degrees plus 0 0.624 degrees. Okay, so take the whole number part, that's going to be our D. So this right here is D. Now uh, we're going to take this fractional degree part and convert that into minutes. So 0 0.624 degrees, we want to convert that into minutes, so we multiply by uh, 60 minutes per 1 degree. Okay, so the degree units cancel, and then uh, what are we going to get? So 0 0.624 times 60 is going to give us 37.44 minutes. Okay, so now we just do that same process again. So 37.44 minutes is 37 minutes plus 0 0.44 minutes. So this here is our M. And now we take, uh, so the whole number part, that's our M. And then the fractional part, that's going to, uh, we're going to convert that into seconds. So 0.44 minutes, we're going to convert that into seconds. So 0 0.44 uh, minutes oops, uh, times 60 seconds per one minute. So again, we're converting from seconds, or excuse me, from minutes to seconds, so just multiply by 60, uh, no 3600 here. So that's going to equal uh, 26.4 seconds. Okay. And since that's the last unit we're dealing with, we're not going any further, um, we round this down. So remember, round to the nearest second. So we're going to round this guy to uh, 26. So 26 seconds. And that's our S. Yeah. So again, just to recap, take the whole number part. So start with the degree here. Take the whole number part. That's going to be the D. It could be 0. Like you could start with 0 0.624. So then your D would just be 0. Okay, but then uh, continue on the same way. So take the fractional part, convert that into minutes. You'll get a whole number part and a fractional part. That whole number part is going to be the minutes. The fractional part, you convert it into seconds. Okay? And then um, you take your seconds and then you round it to the nearest whole number. Because uh, that's what the instructions said to do. Your instructions might say something different. Just be careful of that. But anyway, um, so here's our D, here's our M, and here's our S. So then our final answer is 31 degrees. Uh, 37 minutes and 26 seconds. So that's example four with this type of conversion. Um, that's pretty much it for degrees, minutes, and seconds.